Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, H&H Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. We're local. Welcome to Vernon Vibes. As always, it's great to be with you. I look forward to these bi-weekly um, opportunities to share with you what's going on in Vernon and uh, to share some thoughts with you about uh, issues that affect us all. Um, normally, when we record this show, it would be the day after a town council meeting. Um, interestingly enough, this week, the town council meeting was canceled. Um, it was canceled basically because there really was not enough business to hold a meeting over, which is kind of a good thing. What it means basically is that we've caught up on a lot of the working projects and a lot of the things that would need action by the council. And so the next council meeting will be held December 8th. Um, I'm told after a conversation this morning with our municipal clerk that that's going to be a busy, a busy meeting because many of the things that need to be done before the end of the year will get done at that meeting. So in terms of being able to report to you um, a lot about what took place at the most recent council meeting, there really isn't anything to report. Gives me the opportunity I, to start by wishing each and every one of you the happiest of Thanksgiving. May you uh, enjoy the blessings of the holiday season as you gather with your family. Um, I would like to just um, caution everyone to, uh, to be careful as we are under a winter storm watch beginning on Wednesday morning and on into Thanksgiving Day morning, which may very well make travel a little sketchy around uh, this part of the country. Um, but it gives me the opportunity to tell you that we here in Vernon are ready. We are ready because all of our equipment has been put into working operation. Our salt shed is filled to capacity. As a matter of fact, there is no more room for salt. We've been shipping it in over the last two weeks, and all of the lake communities who depend on Vernon Township for their source of salt and grits in the cases of uh, storms are also completely filled, and our people are ready, willing, and able to deal with the storm. As you well know, Sussex County and Vernon in particular is known throughout North Jersey for doing an excellent job on our roads, and I commit to you that we will continue to do that through the 2014-2015 holiday season and winter. So uh, put your mind at ease. Our people will be out there, uh, and they'll be working to make our roads passable and keep them as safe as is humanly possible. From your side of this, I ask you, please, drive with caution, pay attention, and be sure that as you celebrate the holiday, wherever it may be, if you're going to, in fact, enjoy a, um, um, an alcoholic drink of some sort, please have someone available to drive and be the designated driver. The last thing that we want to see is a tragedy at Thanksgiving for any of you or any of us. So a happy Thanksgiving. May it be blessed. May you, in fact, be thankful for your blessings as we move to the rest of the holiday season. I'll be back in just a minute. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, H&H Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. We're local. Welcome back. Since we didn't have a council meeting, I have the opportunity to share a little bit with you about um, my attendance at the New Jersey League of Municipalities Convention in Atlantic City this past uh, week. As a matter of fact, um, 
eight of our department heads and myself, as, along with two of our council, three, excuse me, three of our council members, attended the conference this year, and it was, in fact, um, a, I think, an excellent investment uh, in Vernon Township. I'm well aware that, you know, there's this perception out there that the League of Municipalities is just one great big party at Atlantic City. And I freely admit that in the evenings when the, when the work sessions are over, there are lots of receptions and wonderful restaurants. And in fact, there is a lot of entertaining that goes on in the evening after the work has been done. During the day, the sessions that are held by the League of Municipalities serve a real purpose because as many of you may know, but I suspect many of you don't know, every one of our uh, licensed professionals, for example, our tax assessor, our tax collector, our building inspector, uh, our municipal clerk, our chief financial officer, our business administrator, are required to take continuing education units every single year in order for them to maintain their license and their certification to be a tax assessor or a tax collector or uh, whatever their responsibility is. And when those courses are given individually, it is not at all unusual to cost between $1,000 and $1,400 per class per person, whereas the total cost uh, for a hotel and the registration uh, as well as food and travel to the League of Municipalities is well under well under a thousand dollars per person so there are financial reasons for doing it this way and additionally it offers the opportunity for our employees to in fact uh, mix with mingle with and talk with uh, people of their own uh, area of expertise about how they do things in other communities and share ideas on ways in fact to do it better to save time to save money and the like in my career in politics, starting way back in 1983, I've attended many, many of a league of a municipality convention in Atlantic City. And interestingly enough, I always come away learning something um, that I didn't know before. And this year was the same case. Um, I had the opportunity to sit in on what I found to be a very uh, entertaining and informative session with five former governors of the state of New Jersey, uh, that being uh, the Honorable Donald DeFrancesco, um, uh, the Honorable Jim Florio, uh, the Honorable uh, Richard Cody, the most Honorable Brendan Byrne, who I just have to tell you, even though he's of uh, my opposition party, I love Brendan Byrne. He is so sharp, he is so smart, and he's so on top of things at 92 years old, he is absolutely a delight. In addition, um, the Honorable John Bennett and those five gentlemen were tasked with discussing the second term of our present governor, Chris Christie. And it was a very, not only interesting, but informative session dealing with uh, how uh, the, um, our present governor is perceived at the present time, uh, whether or not people are upset with the travel that he's been doing around the country versus whether or not he should be here full time. It was a very valuable session. Interestingly enough, even his political adversaries ha admitted that Chris Christie is someone who gets things done and who knows how to reach across the aisle and to, in fact, negotiate and compromise and bring about the changes that are in fact necessary. It was a very valuable um, session. I found it really informative. And uh, when we come back, I'll talk a little bit more about what I did in Atlantic City with you. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, h, h Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. We're local. Welcome back. 
Um, as I mentioned in the last segment, I want to share a few other things that took place while we were in Atlantic City. Uh, uh, looking toward 2015, uh, there are some changes that we intend to make in our, uh, our legal staff here in Vernon Township. And um, we spent uh, a good amount of time uh, going over uh, contracts and the way they should be written for professional services. And I do believe that we will find ourselves in a situation that will much, uh, will control much better uh, expenditures for legal situations that Vernon Township has faced in the past. Um, that was a big objective of mine while I was in Atlantic City, and I'm happy to tell you that I feel as though we've achieved it. And uh, so now I am putting the finishing touches on those appointments that I intend to make on January 1st during reorganization and the people that will be submitted for advice and consent of the town council so that as we move into 2015, the changes that are being anticipated uh, will be done smoothly and seamlessly and we'll be able to carry on our business uh, in a manner that uh, you all have become accustomed to. When we come back, I have a special treat for you because you're going to have the opportunity to speak and hear from Melissa Weedbrock, our Director of Recreation and Community Development on some upcoming, um, uh, some upcoming programs uh, in the township and specifically about our Christmas tree lighting. So uh, she'll be with you when we come back from this break. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, H&H Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. We're local. Welcome back to Vernon Vibes. I am Missy Weedbrock. I'm the Director of Community Affairs and Recreation for Vernon Township. And I wanted to invite everybody to come to our holiday tree lighting. This year it will be at the Vernon Fire Department on Route 515. Thank you so much to the firemen for sharing their venue with us for the night. The event is Tuesday, December 9th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So make sure you get there early so you don't miss anything. And we have a lot of different music um, that we're offering from our local choirs. We have the Lounsbury Hollow Middle School coming the Vernon High School Brass Choir, the High School Meister Singers, and the Community Choral Society, which is adult singers, and they usually come and fill up our whole two hours with beautiful, festive music. So thank you to all of them, and thank you to Bill Kelter for arranging the music and helping us get all of the risers in and everything from the schools to make the evening happen. And of course, all the parents that bring these kids, they're a huge part of it, and they make for a great audience. Other than the music, we do have photos with Santa, which is free of charge. So bring the kids down, we'll get um, photos with Santa Claus. And we capped the night off with a surprise, but I'm letting everybody know this year we're gonna have fireworks. And, you know, of course, hot chocolate for everybody. So make sure you get there on time because you don't want to miss the special arrival of, you know, Santa Claus and get your photos taken before you leave. I wanted to just thank quickly some people that have already agreed to donate items for our event this year, which Sussex Rural Electric has been a huge help um, with us and our DPW. We're going to be getting the tree up together. Heaven Hill Farm, Pochucks. Um, A&P and Smokies have, they will be donating some baked goods for our event that night as well. So please make sure that you come out, get your photos taken. If the line is long, it moves fast, so don't be dissuaded. You could still have time. This is, again, Tuesday, December 9th from 7 to 9, so you could still get your holiday cards mailed out with a cool picture with Santa Claus, and I'm sure Frosty the Snowman will be making an appearance himself too, so bring everybody out, the kids of all ages, and adults too. So I hope to see you all there. And I wanted to also mention, in case you have any seniors in your household that have never been to any of our events down in the Senior Center, just switching gears to the seniors, we do offer downstairs lunch every single day for $2, and it's a delicious 
lunch, um, you can always call my office or email me to get the menu. Um, we also have special activities, but we also have a great holiday party for our seniors, which you have to just be 60 or up. And the holiday luncheon this year is Wednesday, December 17th. It's right here in our senior center from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. We have delicious food, music, entertainment, a lot of dancing will be going on, so bring your dancing shoes. And you have to sign up in advance. So if you give my office a call or stop by the senior center, you um, just pay your $7 and have some kind of proof of residency and we'll get you in for the party. But come as soon as you hear this because it does sell out every year and everybody looks forward to it. So we're always looking for new faces at the senior center and we would love to have you join us. And if you give us a call, we can either mail or email or anything the December menu and calendar. We have a couple special Mondays coming up. I wanted to just mention for the seniors, um, on December 22nd, we have a third grade class coming down to visit with the seniors, interview them. When I was lucky enough to be teacher for a day, um, I taught the third grade class of Mrs. Weiss, and we started um, a lesson where they were gonna ask interview questions to the seniors. And luckily, the principal and everybody was okay and on board with them taking a field trip now to actually ask in person these questions to our seniors. So that's gonna be a fun day if any seniors wanna participate. It's gonna be a great day to come on down and meet with some of the kids, um, which is always a good time. We also, on the 29th, have a brownie troupe coming down to Carroll with the seniors. So that's another fun time at 11 a.m. Again, I'm at extension 2261 um, on the township. If you want to give a call and see what else we have going on up in the spring, just a little preview to the spring, we do have plots open in our community garden. So there's a couple plots available if you want to get on that waiting list now or sign up. And we also have the Couch to 5K program coming back in the spring, which is one of our best attended programs. Gets you off the couch and running your first 5K. And we'll be doing that 5K again on June 7th. Um, this year but keep a prize keep on our Facebook page definitely like Vernon Township so that you'll get all of these fun updates and then you can get in touch with me if you there's a program you'd like to see added or if you have any questions about what we're offering for the upcoming season so thank you so much and now back to Vernon Vibes. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water the official water company of Vernon Township United Water involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, H&H Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. Wear local. Welcome back. Isn't she delightful? You can see why the recreation programs in Vernon Township are so well attended. When I think back to the initiation of National Night Out and the Vernon Day program and the Christmas tree lighting and the seniors parties at every one of the holidays, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, Melissa Weedbrock has made our recreation program a delight for all ages in this township. Her activities have included the initiation of the 5K run on Vernon Day. She now is sponsoring a Walk With Me program to get people active. Her focus is on improving the wellness of people in Vernon Township, and I think she's done a great job, and I know that most of you feel that way too. So I want to thank Melissa publicly for the job that she's done in her area of responsibility and her entire team which includes, of course, providing the seniors with their meals at lunchtime every day, as well as the Senior Center, and all of the other recreation programs that Vernon Township takes part in. And in addition to all of that, it is her responsibility to see that the scheduling of all fields is done in a way so there are no conflicts and that all of our youth programs are able to function and function without interruption. She's done a phenomenal job. Thanks, Melissa. I really appreciate that. I'd like this evening to close um, with a tribute to two very special people in my life. And I'd like to start by um, 
calling to your attention the passing of Marge Rockema. Marge Rockema recently passed away at the age of 85. She was our Congresswoman when I was first elected to the Vernon Township Committee in 1983. And I can tell you that working with Marge Rockema as a Vernon Township Committeeman and then as your mayor in 1986 as we did battle with the New Jersey DEP over radon and then subsequently the initiation and in fact the culmination of the creation of the Wallkill Valley Wildlife Refuge. It was my honor to work with Marge Rockema. She was intelligent, she was committed, she was a great teacher, she knew how to help young people get where they wanted to go. I'm thinking of myself in particular. She was a mentor of mine that I appreciated and I have nothing but the highest praise for the job that she did in representing women's issues and for standing at a time when the Republican Party was moving to the right, standing for those issues, those women's issues that many of us still are supportive of. And so, Marge, I'd like to extend my condolences on behalf of the people of Vernon to your family and to say publicly that she is someone who was a giant and certainly someone who we all will miss. May she rest in peace. Coincidentally, another giant of Sussex County politics passed away within days of Marge Rockema. And so, frankly, since our last visit together, we have had two, we have lost two giants. And I'm now referring to State Senator Robert Littell. Bob Littell served in the New Jersey Assembly longer than anyone and, in fact, retired as someone who was revered by all who he did business with. As I stood in line at the Ramsey Funeral Home in Franklin on the uh, Monday after the senator's passing, there were people there such as Steve Sweeney, who's the Democratic president of the Senate in New Jersey now, former governor Tom Kane, and a myriad of other political personalities from both sides of the aisle came to pay tribute to this fine gentleman who was practical, who was not dogmatic, who understood that the art of politics and government is compromise and give and take. Make no mistake, Bob Littell was not a pushover. He negotiated hard and brought back to Sussex County often the bacon, so to speak, um, when others were not able to. I admired Bob Littell and had the opportunity to work with him and also to be candid on issues within the party to be an adversary of his. Never once did those interactions, whether they be working together on an issue or whether they be opposing each other on an issue, never once did those situations devolve into personal nastiness or anything other than gentlemanly, professional demeanor and decorum which made it very easy to deal with Bob Littell. And as I said, he was no pushover. He definitely was a leader. Oftentimes I referred to him as the iron fist in the velvet glove because once he had done his homework and once he had come to his conclusion, he was a man of character and stood by it. And I like to think that in that respect, he and I shared a commonality. Um, you knew when Bob Littell told you that he was going to do something, he was going to do it. And you also knew when he told you he wasn't going to do it, he wasn't. I respect that. I think we all respected Bob and loved him for what he gave to Sussex County. My condolences to his wife Ginny, his daughter Allison, his son um, Luke, all of whom I've known for many, many, many years. My deepest condolences on Part on behalf of the people of Vernon and, and I just want to say to all of you that we know it wasn't easy um, but we also knew that you were there for Bob right to the very end and will always be there for him. May he also rest in peace. Thanks for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving to all.
Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. The Vernon Independent Retailers Association reminds you that when you shop locally, you're helping to build our community by supporting local employment and keeping your tax dollars in our community. Support the Vernon Independent Retailers who support you. Brought to you by The Copy Center, H&H Auto Parts, Healthy Times Market, Heaven Hill Farm, Lakeland Pool and Spa, McAfee Hardware, McAfee Ski and Snowboard, and Valley Paint and Hardware. Come in. We're local.